Steve Harvey is a six-time Emmy Award-winning comedian, television presenter, broadcaster, and author. He's well known for hosting the Steve Harvey Morning Show and Family Feud. Steve is a longtime friend of the UAE, and I thought it'd be fun to bring him in to share some of his thoughts on this topic. But more important than all of these things Steve has, Steve's also a dear friend. Everybody, please join me in welcoming Steve Harvey. Yeah. Thank you very much. You how you doing, how Steve? Are you, my friend? I'm good, man. How are you? Oh, man, uh, everything is good. I'm healthy. Everybody's safe so far. So let's just hope it stays that way. How's this for role reversal? I'm interviewing you. You spend more time on camera than anybody I know, and I'm the one asking you questions. And this is really good because I've actually seen you do some public speaking yourself, and you're actually pretty good at it, man. So this is a comfortable reversal. All right, we'll keep faking it. Um, <laughs> Steve, tell me a little bit. You know, we've been friends now for a couple of years. We've met in Abu Dhabi a few times. We talk pretty regularly, but tell some of our audience members here, tell them what it was like for you to go that first time. What's, what stuck out? What hit you the first? What was your first impression? Well, the thing about it was, it, w it was such, such a new feeling because, uh, you know, where I live, where I grew up, Cleveland, Ohio, uh, can be very cold, very gray, very dark, very dangerous. Uh, for me coming to the UAE for the first time, I was really disarmed at two things. First, the warmth of the people threw me because I just was not really ready for that warm of a reception, the overall kindness of the people uh, in the culture. And then the second thing that threw and completely messed me up was the, the way you can walk around in total peace. I don't know if you understand what that's like to be able to walk around in peace. Zero crime. I mean, to be able to walk around and not have to look over your shoulder. So I found the kindness of the people and the ambiance of peace everywhere I went in Abu Dhabi, everywhere I went in Dubai. Uh, you know, I've been to Sarger since then. I've seen uh, a, a third uh, Emirates, but the Abu Dhabi was like amazing to me, how beautiful it was, peaceful, and then just the culture of the, uh, the friendliness of the culture. Those were the two things that stood out for me most. On one of those trips, he told me that story. You said you went for a walk, and for the first time in your life, you felt completely peaceful, and you felt that you didn't have to look behind you. And you looked at me and you said, you don't understand how good of a feeling that is. You guys take that for granted. You don't worry about that. And it's true, we do take it for granted, but someone like you really appreciated it, right? No, they, see man, look, uh, I was, I was at the hotel, and everywhere I go, I have security. Everywhere I go. And I, and, and I didn't have it there. And what I did was, I was walking outside the hotel, and I walked down the beach, and then I walked over in the grass, and I realized, for the first time ever, I had no reason to look over my shoulder. Nobody was going to, to harm me in any way. And it takes a minute for that to click in. Because, you know, when you live your life on ready, set, I'm, my life is on ready, set, because I come from a place where you have to be that way, because something could happen at any given moment. So when I was walking around, it was it was crazy, man, and, and the feeling flooded over me. I actually got emotional. And uh, I, I was walking, it, and my and tears was in my eyes, because never in my life had I been able to go anywhere and feel that feeling. And the UAE gave it to me. And after that, and like I told my friend Yusuf, man, I was sitting out and saying, man, I got, I got to be a part of this some kind of way. I got to find a way yeah. to put my family over here so they could come and see what this is. Because the average person has no idea what that feeling is like. And I think you all may take it for granted because that's how you live. But that's not the real world. Not, not outside of that place, it's not. That's not how it goes. So, so you led me into kind of what I want you to close the conversation with. For those, of, for those who are with us who have not been there, who have not experienced that, who have not gone through that kind of experience, what's the one thing you want them to know about your experience in the UAE 
that most people in the United States maybe don't understand. You can't believe the propaganda. You cannot believe it, man. You, 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 you cannot believe the way this place is portrayed in the media. You should go see it for yourself. I mean, I'm just a person where I don't let anybody tell me what something is without knowing for myself. Now, if you tell me it's hot, I believe it's hot. But you can't tell me if people are a certain way. And I go there and I find out the direct opposite, that people over there smile all the time, that family is so important to them that it supersedes everything. Number one over there is God. You might as well get that through your head. Number one is God. That's paramount. And it becomes really obvious. And then after that, it's family. And that's the order that I try to live my life. God, family, education, business. And that's how I live my life. That may not be the order that everybody does, but that's how I chose to live it. In the UAE, that's it. I've never seen a place like it. I think that everybody should go there to see it for themselves, be open and experience it. You won't believe the warmth of the culture. You won't believe the accepting of you being who you are. You know, I come there as a Christian man. I was raised that way. My mother made me that way. What, what was I going to be, you know? But to come over there and be accepted so warmly by a culture that's completely different but very similar at the same time because the UAE appeals to the peaceful side of me. And, 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 and I get to show more of it when I'm there. And I think everybody should go. I, I remember. Think everybody. I'll, I'll close with this because I remember a moment when we were at Abu Dhabi and I saw a line of people standing, taking a selfie with you. And that line yeah. was just a perfect example of diversity. There were Emiratis, there were Arabs, there were Americans, there were Africans. There was a long line of people like they were standing at a DMV waiting to get their picture taken with you. Now, that's a perfect yeah. way to encapsulate kind of who we are and what we stand for. I'm glad you got to see that. I, I hope others get to see exactly what you're talking about. Hey, man, and a uh, happy National Day to all of you. Uh, 49th anniversary of the United Arab Emirates. And man, I'm glad y'all was born because we sure needed y'all. Thank you. Thank you, Thank Steve. You. Appreciate it, brother. Thank you. Thank you.